Hey guys, it's Tuesday. This is going to be your video report to free plays coming your way in just a moment, plus a money saving discount coupon code that'll save you 15 bucks off of a single purchase today. A couple of hot handicappers talk about Bob Valentino, who of course on Sunday hit his biggest play of the season, a 75 dimer on the Yankees and a run line win over Baltimore. It's hard to believe Freddie Garcia to the Yankees has 10 wins this season and is actually pitching extremely well. Who would have guessed? Not I. Uh, so today, he has a second biggest play. 60 dime winner, number 13 out of 16. 13 out of 16, NL Cheap Chalk of the Year. 60 dime plays in baseball this season, 7 and 2 so far. And, um, hey, look, you know, the bottom line is this. He has won 15 of his last 20 plays overall. He's on a 17 and 6 run with baseball releases over the past 8 weeks. And in that stretch, those 17 winners and 23 plays overall have produced 660 dimes of net profit, which means it $10 better, has won $6,607 in that eight-week period. So that's what he's got. I'll tell you, you know, he's been hot. And Bob Valentino, of course, is an in-and-out handicapper, I like to call him. You know, he doesn't release plays every day, okay? Anthony Red, though. I mean, you know, A. Red will be the first one to tell you. He believes the key to winning in baseball is you've got to bet the small favorites, totals, and juicy dogs. Well, he has certainly profited uh, over the last 35 days, exactly five weeks, 784 dimes of net profit, which means, again, a $10 better, has won $7,840. And tonight, he has a 60-dime winner, number five in a row. And these five 60-dime plays have all come in a 10-day period. But here's the more important thing. It's his underdog game of the year, part number four. Part number one was uh, a couple of uh, Tuesdays ago when he had the Padres plus $1.50 over the Marlins. The very next night, he had part number two, the Padres plus $1.55 at Florida. And then he cashed in with part number three, I think it was last Thursday, with the Orioles plus $1.60 over the Blue Jays. Uh, so, 69 winner number five in a row tonight also happens to be his uh, Dog of the Year winner number four in a row. Uh, those dog plays alone over the last 15 days have accounted for 460 dimes of net profit. That's what Anthony Red has going for you today. Um, let's get to your money-saving discount coupon code. It is going to be simply 15MAGIC, 15MAGIC, M-A-G-I-C, 15MAGIC, M-A-G-I-C. Put it all together, 15 in the word magic, no space between them. Enter it one prompt in your shopping cart. You'll save $15 off of any purchase price or any purchase that you make today. It's a one-time usage coupon. Good today, only 15MAGIC. Um, let's talk now about free picks, shall we? Uh, I'll tell you what, last night, I had a 15-dime best bet winner. I think it was number four in a row, and it was on the Phillies. And how many times have I said to you over the years, guys, you know, when the breaks are going against you, you just think the whole world is conspiring against you. You just can't get a break. But they all even out over the long run. And last night, as it's been the case for pretty much the last five or six weeks, the breaks were in my way again. 3-1, the Phillies trailed going in the bottom of the ninth inning. 3-2 pitch, I think it was. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. John Mayberry hits the dying three run, a two-run homer uh, to tie the game at three. And then Shane Victorino leads off the bottom of the 10th or the top of the 10th with a... Um, and by the way, Mayberry, of course, was top of the ninth because it was a road team. The Phillies, top of the tenth, Shane Vectorino then leads off with a homer to win it for the Phillies. Well, listen, they won that game last night, but I'm going the opposite way tonight. I think Colorado rebounds here this evening. Aaron Cook, <laughs> there's not many pleasant things I can say about Aaron Cook, how he's pitched this season. However... His last two starts have been right on the money. He won at Arizona and then won at Los Angeles. And the Dodgers' effort, seven innings of six-hit shutout ball, was pretty impressive. Uh, he's back at home. Uh, yes, I know the Phillies have won 20 of the last 25 in the series. But listen, they're going with number five starter Kyle Kendrick tonight, okay? He's number five starter now because, uh, you know, Roy Oswald's coming back from disabled list. So at that time, he will probably get bumped to the bullpen. That means Vance Worley, who's pitched so well, will then be moved back to the number five slot in the rotation as uh, Oswald goes up to number four. Uh, the bottom line, though, you know, Kendrick... He's a guy who gets the ball up. Not a good thing when you're pitching a course field. He's a guy who needs to get grounders and doesn't get enough of them. I say go against him. He has 6.35 earn run average and three starts lifetime against Colorado and faced him back on May 19th at home and lost that game 7-1, to one, giving up five runs and three innings of pitch. So I'm going to get the Rockies here at like $1.05, maybe even $1.10 dog price. Worst case scenario, you're going to get them an even, and I'm looking for the Rockies and Cook to prevail. Uh, your other free play, I'm going to go with the uh, Mets. Yes, the Mets. They lost last night 7-3. I mean, you talk about a streaky team. It was their third straight loss 
in which they've scored a total of five runs. This after winning their previous five games, hitting 321 and scoring 38 runs in that stretch. But I like the Mets tonight. They're minus dollar 30 at home. Um, I know Florida's won five in a row at City Field. The Marlins have won seven in the last nine games, yada, yada, yada. I know they're six and three in the series overall this season. Yeah, well, you know what? If there were sure things, they wouldn't call it gambling, right? There are no guarantees. And I think uh, Mets are the play tonight because I don't like the rookie left-hander, Brad Hand, who was going for Florida. Six walks, 72 pitches needed just to get through 3.2 innings against Washington. Shall we also mention a weak-hitting Nationals team on Thursday in his last start? Uh, he's 0-1 on the road in three starts with an earned run average approaching four. Um, yeah, the true, it is true that the team, the uh, Marlins, have won his last three starts. But let's remember, in two of those starts, he lasted three and two-third innings and three and a third innings. This guy isn't exactly big on longevity. Only once this year has he gone over six innings. Only twice has he gone over five innings in uh, his six starts so far this season. Chris Papuano, um, you know, he sucked in his last start against Cincinnati on Thursday. Gave up six runs and eight hits in five and a third innings. But guess what, guys? Mets gave him offensive support, and he won the game to snap a three-game losing streak. He's got a 3.60 earned run average in 11 career appearances against the Marlins, 10 of them being starts. So I'll go with the Mets minus to dollar thirty to go along with the other free play on the Rockies as a small home dog at home against Philadelphia. Once again, the discount money saving coupon code is going to be 15MAGIC. Good luck, everybody, and I'll catch you again on Wednesday.